Good morning, it's Jeanette, and I'm pretty excited because this is my first official video of JB's Explore and More. This is going to be a channel about little adventures in life and having fun. Today, I'm going on a little road trip with my husband, his brother, and his brother's girlfriend. We're going to go see an Illinois game in Champaign, and then it's a football game outside, just in case you didn't know. And then we're going to the Covered Bridge Festival in Indiana. I'm very excited and I'm going to take lots of pictures and do video, so stay tuned. Thanks. <laughs> Orders from the house. Now, drink up. It appears that the night is just We've just arrived at our rental house for the evening, and we have a welcoming kitty. Not a committee, a kitty. Hi, kitty. Hi, kitty. Hello, how are you? That dirt is very soft. Just do moles. <laughs> the porch, sit and relax. Nope. We're right next to an old church. You had the lock. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, how rustic. This is really cool. I figured you'd like it. I like the skeleton and the wine glasses in the wall. It's uh, nice and chilly in here. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Yes, bathroom. Must find bathroom. Here's one of the bedrooms. It's very cute. Washer and dryer. The master bedroom. There's a no wicker fireplace. I guess that's, I mean, is that included? What? The sausage will be snagged. Good yeah. reading material. I mean, because they don't, ex they expire the 17th. That's odd. Show me the sausage. Sausage links. Wow. Thanks. my kitchen and I'll fry if I want to. A nice apple air freshener and some popcorn snacks, hot cocoa and okay. <coughs> Little coffee bar. Picture. Rustic Got heights. a little wine fridge down there. Oh, a wine fridge. Nice. What do you think, Tim? It's great. Come in now. You can't come in. Well, 
Aren't you just precious? You're so friendly, aren't you? Yeah. You watch out for that traffic, though. You watch out for the traffic. And before I hop in, I want to show you this unique shower. It has like barn sliding metal, I don't know what you call this, that would be around a silo. thought that was kind of an interesting look. I don't know if it would rust over time, but it definitely adds to the uh, cool aesthetics of this place. And there's a sliding barn door right there. So, if anyone knows what this uh, decorating style is, please comment below. Good morning, this is Jeanette with Exploring More. Right now I'm in Marshall, Indiana, and I'm getting ready to go on the Covered Bridge Festival today. And I have a little brochure right here. This is in Park County, Indiana, and there are 31 covered bridges. I'm sure that we will not hit all of those. We're gonna try to make at least 10. Some of the bridges you can only walk through, some you can still drive through. It's supposed to be a very picturesque scenic drive there are a lot of Amish in the area there will be vendors and crafts and good pies to buy I'm sure so I'm pretty excited about this I love taking pictures of scenic things and I'll show you a little bit of my surroundings here where we are I'll turn you around here uh, this uh, old farmhouse we stayed at last night is really cute the way it's decorated and it was found on VRBO on the internet. I don't know if you call it an Airbnb or if there's a different name for it, but let me take you around. There's the porch. Sit and relax. Have some nice mums out here. It's right next door to a church, but church does not seem to be in service, so maybe they don't use that church anymore. Looks like it's going to be a nice day. The leaves are changing on the trees. Very pretty. There's the church next door. Looks to be a very small town. It was a nice relaxing evening. our first bridge built in 1910 the Roseville Bridge cross this bridge at a walk and it's only one lane want me to get out of your picture <laughs> not sure what creek this is <clears throat> A long one. I'm walking across the bridge. It's kind of spooky, especially when a big truck drives through. You can see uh, the slats. You can see the uh, ground and river below. My husband walked across real fast. Have wooden lanes here for the car tires. It's a long bridge. I wonder how many feet.
Bridgeton. 1878 house. I guess we should just like just go out for a town. flags. We're in Bridgeton where they have a mill and a bridge that you can walk across. Let's do it. Another long bridge. So we looked it up on the internet and the covered bridge part was to protect the wooden bottom part, the trusses, from the inclement weather, the rain and the snow. I would also imagine that it adds a picturesque quality to the bridge and protects people who would walk across it from the elements. And here we are, the other end. What does it look like from this side? Let's go out here later and get helicopter rides. Bridge. I wonder if they had to rebuild it. Climbing or jumping from bridge is prohibited. Walking up to the next covered bridge. I think this is our third bridge. What's this one called? Nevins Bridge, 1920. Very quaint. We took a long, unpaved country road to get to this one. One lane bridge. Cross this bridge at a walk.
Look at this gorgeous scenery out here in the country. Now we're going to the Crooks Bridge, Covered Bridge. Fall is my favorite time of year. Built in 1856. Builder Henry Wolf. It's dark when you first come in. Somebody put a smiley face up here. Graffiti. down there. Bridge Road. Oh, look at the bird. Hawk. Or maybe a turkey vulture. It's pretty big. Beautiful. Smith Bridge, 1883. This is not the oldest one we've seen today. We were at one that was older. Yeah. We were at one you can go ahead if you want. <laughs> Thanks, though. You can hear the planks moving when the car goes over it. No restrooms out here in the country. Well, this bridge is closed for some reason. Road closed. The Melcher Bridge, 1896. Maybe it's uh, structurally not strong enough. Compromised in some way. But we can still get a picture of it. No trespassing that way. Now we are at the West Union Bridge. This is a really long one. 1876. J.J. Daniels was the builder. There's definitely water down in this creek. Not sure if you're supposed to walk across it. I guess you can because there's no sign saying not to. But you definitely can't drive across it. 
Make sure there's no holes in the floorboards, hon. Nice breeze blowing. It's about 60 some degrees today. A view from the window. The creek kind of forks off into two. Imagine back in the day, this reminds me of like Little House on the Prairie days. You would have to take a horse and buggy across bridges like this. Or imagine building them. It would have taken a lot of lumber and a lot of manpower. I haven't really been looking at the ceiling at all today. Looks like it's made of maybe uh, aluminum or tin reinforced with wood. We made it across safely, it didn't fall down. What does this say? Does this say something? Oh yeah. Nineteen fourteen. Looks like the names probably of the people that built the bridge. I can't read them. But that's kind of cool. I really like the uh, red barn off in the distance there too. So that's photo time. <laughs> I love it, the doggy. <laughs> Back across to the other side. Go ahead and cross and stop on the other side. Sure. Okay. No. I'll let Shelly get her picture from here first. Here we are at Rush Creek Bridge, 1904. The leaves are falling, very picturesque. The creek bed is, well, there's a little bit of water down there, not much. This one's a shorter bridge. I lost count on how many bridges we've been across now. And this is way out in the country. Whoops. I love seeing all these open spaces. Here comes my hubby walking across.
I think we're going to do today called Bowsher Ford Bridge 1915. And we're going to head back to Illinois. I think we're about a couple hours away from home. Not too bad. <laughs> What a beautiful day. I definitely do this trip again. Maybe actually spend a whole weekend doing it instead of spending one night, maybe two nights. See more bridges that way. You can see the red barn off in the distance. I'm walking back across. Now I wonder if Indiana has the most covered bridges in America. I'll have to Google that later. I hope that you're enjoying this video adventure. Please like and subscribe to my channel, Explore and More, where I go on little adventures throughout America and do fun things. I appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.